Hi, my name is Dr. Karen Shen. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist based on the Lower North Shore. Cervical screening test is part of the National Cervical Screening Program that aims to prevent cervical cancer by checking for early cell changes on the cervix, which is the entrance to the uterus from the vagina. Essentially, the cells inside our uterus are very different to the cells inside our vagina. The two types of cells meet on the cervix, which forms an area called the transformation zone. This is an area of changing cells, and it is the most common place on the cervix for abnormal cells to develop. We now know that HPV infection, a type of viral infection, is the main cause for cervical cells to become abnormal. The new cervical screening test, which was introduced in December 2017, looks at both the HPV infection and the cells of the transformation zone. The sample is obtained the same way as a pap smear, and if it is negative, you won't need another one for five years. HPV stands for human papillomavirus. It is a common infection. About four out of five people have at least one type of HPV at some time in their lives. Genital HPV usually causes no symptoms and goes away by itself, but can sometimes cause serious illness, such as cervical cancer. We have about 13 types of HPV infections that are considered high risk for development of cervical cancer, and these can be detected by the cervical screening test. They are classified as HPV-16, HPV-18, or HPV others. If you are HPV positive, your results will also include whether the cells are abnormal, and these will be classified as low-grade or high-grade changes. Now, HPV is a virus that can infect cervical cells. Most of the time, your body will be able to fight the infection and repair the cell changes. This may take up to a few years. During this time, it is important for you to be monitored, and this may mean repeating another cervical screening test, or your GP may refer you to see a gynecologist for colposcopy. A colposcopy is similar to getting a cervical screening test done, but using a special microscope to allow for a close examination of the cervix. HPV virus infects both men and women. The virus is spread through intimate contact with genital skin during sexual activity. Usually this happens without anyone ever knowing it, because it does not usually cause symptoms. Condoms offer some but not total protection from the virus, as they don't cover all of the genital skin. However, if you're diagnosed with HPV, it does not mean you can't engage in sexual activity. In terms of testing for partners, there is currently no approved screening test to check for HPV for men. For women, we recommend routine cervical screening test. It is important to remember having HPV does not mean you have cervical cancer. Most of the time, your body will be able to fight the infection and repair the cell changes. Cervical cancer develops only rarely in a small proportion of women and usually takes many years, often decades. Therefore, ongoing monitoring is the key here. Depending on the type of the HPV infection and the cell changes, you may be asked to either repeat another cervical screening test in one year, or your doctor may refer you to see a gynecologist for a colposcopy. My name is Dr. Karen Shen. I hope this has been informative.